Hey what's up creators, in this video we're going to be showing you how you can set up a physics based door. What I mean by that is we're going to have a door in our VR scene where we can walk up to it, we can hold our hands out and push that door open and then also use our hands to close it again afterwards. Hey there, my name's Luke and like I said in this video we're going to be creating a very simple physics based door. Let's jump straight into Unreal Engine and get started. So inside of Unreal Engine, the very first thing that I'm going to do is just create myself a brand new level with all of the VR basic stuff in here. By that, what I mean is I'm just going to make sure I've got a player start in the scene and it is just above the floor. I'm also going to make sure that I have a nav mesh bounds volume and I have that in my scene. So I'm just going to set this to 100, 100, 100. And then the last thing I'm going to do with my floor is I'm just going to make sure my collision is set to block all. Now, that's all of the VR basics set up. We're now at a point where we have a VR project and we can move around and teleport around and it's time to work on the door. Just before we do that, though, I'm just going to quickly jump into the VR preview and just make sure VR is working. So as you can see here now, we're inside of our level, we're inside of VR, and I can look around, I can see my hands and do all of that kind of stuff. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we actually have some collision on the player's hands to make sure that physically they can interact with that door. So what I want you to do is find your XR pawn, you know, just find your player blueprint, open that up and we're going to add some collision. Easiest way for me to get to that is to go to our world settings, go to our game mode, making sure that it is the one that we're using. In this case, for me, it's the XR game mode. And I can see I've got BP underscore XR pawn. That is my player blueprint. I'm going to find that in the content browser and open it up. Inside of here, once it has opened, I'm going to identify the two hands. You can see we've got hand left and hand right. All I'm going to do inside of here is just add a component for sphere collision and attach it to my hands by just dragging it onto that. Then I'm going to set my size to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So that way the collision here doesn't go too much further than the hands. So with that, I've got one set of collision for my hand left. I'm just going to give this a name collision underscore left. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to select my hand right. I'm going to go to add. I'm going to search for sphere collision. And I'm going to call this collision underscore right. And then with that done, again, I'm just going to adjust my scale here to 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. And then once I've done that, I'm going to select both of my collisions and make sure that my collision preset for these are set to block all dynamic. With that done, go ahead and hit compile, save, and now we have our player blueprint in such a way that it can physically start interacting with things and moving things. And if you've done any of my previous videos, you'll probably have this in place already. So now let's set up the blueprint for the door itself. Again, we're going to go into Unreal. We're just going to make a new folder and I'm just going to give this the name Door Demo. Again, you can call this absolutely anything that you like. Inside of here, I'm just going to right click in the empty space, go to Blueprint, and I'm going to create myself a Blueprint class of the type Actor. Again, this is just our simple code class that we can attach stuff to. I'm going to give this the name BP underscore Swinging door and then I'm going to open it up. Inside of this blueprint I'm now ready to start setting up the physical representation of my door. Easiest way for me to do that is in my viewport and my components I can go to add and I'm going to add a cube and you're never going to guess what I'm going to do with this. I'm simply going to scale this until it roughly looks like a door. So I'm just going to set my scale on the Z to two, so two meters high. And then I'm just going to adjust the rest just until it looks like a door, just like this. And of course, I'm then just going to make sure I move it above our 
default scene root here. So it's basically at the bottom. Then once I've done this, I'm going to go ahead and compile it, minimize this, and I'm going to bring my swinging door into my scene. Reason for that is I just want to make sure my visual representation of the door is the correct scale. So what we're going to do here is jump into the VR preview and test it out. Okay, so back inside of VR then, I can see my door right in front of me. I'm going to walk up to this and it does look like it is the correct height for a door. So with that done, we can jump back into Unreal Engine and we are going to open up our BP swinging door. And I'm going to add another component. And that component is simply a billboard. Now, this billboard is just for the purposes of knowing which direction the door is going to swing from. So what, rather, where is the hinge? So I'm going to add this billboard and I'm just going to give it the name um, hinge underscore visual. And with this billboard, just because it's not going to be visible in the game by default, what I'm going to do is just find in the details panel for this billboard, the hidden in game, and I'm just going to turn this off. Then what I'm going to do is just move that over to the side, just like this. Then again, I'm going to compile this and you can see here now my door has a little marker on one side. So with all of that done, we have our door in our scene. We've got our VR demo. It's time to show you how we can start adding in the physics constraint to make it so that we can push that door and it's going to rotate the way that we want to. So inside of Unreal Engine, in our blueprint, what we're going to do is just make sure that we name our door and I'm just going to name it um, door underscore visual. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding in a physics constraint component. This is essentially going to allow us to um, constrain our physics for this. And you're going to be able to do this in two ways. The first way is angular constraints, which is going to allow you to constrain your physics rotation. Then you've got your linear constraints, which is going to allow you to constrain your physics movement. Let's just jump straight into the angular stuff as that's what we're going to be needing for our door. So back in Unreal, we've got our physics constraints. What I'm going to do is make sure I set this to the default scene root here as well. Then what I'm going to do with my physics constraint, you can see it's currently at this point here in the middle of the door. We don't want that. We want it to be off to the side so it rotates around that point. So what we're going to do is take our door and our hinge visual and just move it so it's aligned with this just like that. Then with our physics constraint, what we need to do inside of here is we need to find our angular limits. We can see we've got swing one motion, swing two motion, uh, twist motion. And we've also got our linear limits like I explained previously. With our linear limits, because we don't want it to move at all, we're going to make sure all of this is locked. Then over here, we're just going to want it to swing in one direction. So we're going to have limited limits on swing one, which just means it can open between a certain number of degrees. So it can't go 360. It's not revolving. You know, we can tell it to just go 90 degrees each way. And then for the twist, we definitely don't want that to happen. So we're going to set this to locked. And then swing two, we don't want that to happen either. So we're going to keep it locked as well. As for our swing one limit over here, we're going to set this to 90 degrees so that way it can swing 90 degrees and it can open all the way for the player. With this done, I'm going to go ahead and compile and save this. Okay, so once that's done, we're almost finished. We have our constraints set up. All we need to do now is tell our door to actually simulate physics and then also make sure that we tell that physics constraint which actor to constrain. So with our door, first things first, we're just going to make sure we have simulate physics turned on. Then once we've done that, we are going to go back to our physics constraint and we're just going to make sure the component name under constraint is set to door underscore visual exactly as you have it named in your components panel here. If the naming is not correct or you're not using the correct lowercase, uppercase, it's not going to work. 
But at this point, we're ready to test this. Go ahead and hit compile, go to our viewport, and what I'm gonna do is just, just for myself here, I'm just gonna move my player start to be right in front of my door and we can test it. Okay, so back inside of our VR preview then, you can see we have got our door. We know the hinge is on the right hand side because I've got my billboard there. But then on the left hand side, if I push it, what should happen now is this door should open. So let me teleport in front of it, push the door, and you can see that door has opened. If I go to the other side, I can turn around and I can close that door as well. So that's it, our door is fully set up. It is as simple as that. If you want to build a nice door frame around this, the walls and actually put it in a project that you've got, by all means, feel free. But functionality wise, we've got a complete door here. Another thing that I'd like to mention is that this physics constraint can be used for so, so many different things. It can be used for levers. It can be used for drawers. This is how you have physics-based interactions with your objects. I'm super excited to see what you guys are able to build with all of this. Do let us know in the comments down below. Again, if you want to see more VR content just like this, make sure you hit subscribe and also check out our website and the VR Ultimate course over at tinker.academy. As always, I hope you have enjoyed it. Stay awesome, keep creating.